It's not a good sign if we're crying already so early. <laughs> but look, thank you. And thank you for that kind um, introduction, Pauline. And good afternoon, everybody. Please allow me to do what I do not believe to be a formality. It's a genuine acknowledgement of the traditional custodians. The traditional custodians of the land where we're meeting here today for this wonderful event. The Gadigal people of the Eora Nation. And I pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging. I do acknowledge Pauline Wright. She's a past president of the Law Society of New South Wales and also representatives from today's sponsors, including Mehmet Sarah from Sarawakom and Abdullah Aksor from NX Consulting. Now, I have a list of names that I wish to acknowledge as those being present. Now, Pauline has already um, highlighted that I come from a Spanish background, so I'm gonna do my best to pronounce these names with a bit of a Spanish flair as I can. <laughs> So Chin Tan, who is our keynote speaker, he doesn't need an introduction in terms of acknowledgement, but thank you so much for joining us. The Race Discrimination Commissioner um, from the Australian Human Rights Commission. Juan Manuel Molina, who's the Consul General of Spain in Sydney. Carl Hartleb, the Consul General of Austria in Sydney. Luciano Valentin de Concesayo, Consul General of Timor-Leste in Sydney. Connie Lee, Cultural Affairs Assistant, Consulate General of Canada. We have Harith Almaid, Consular Employee, Royal Consulate General of Saudi Arabia in Sydney. Emeritus Professor, Rosalind Croucher AM, the President of the Australian Human Rights Commission. We have Patricia Jenkins, President, United Nations Association of Australia, New South Wales. Peter Dorcas, he's the Chair of the Ethnic Affairs Communities Council of New South Wales. Reverend Father Dr. Shenouda Mansour, Parish Priest at Coptic Orthodox Church. Lee Zimmerman, Events and Community Fundraising Manager, Australia for UNHCR. Stephanie McClellan, Development and Outreach Manager, Human Rights Watch. Zaman Castell, National Director, Together for Humanity Foundation. Zia Ahmad, Editor-in-Chief, I Must. Madenia Abdurrahman, President Together for Humanity. And there are many others here today and who have been here before and will be here again, who are all distinguished and are all valuable contributors to this ongoing conversation, whether we tackle the hard conversations, the good conversations, the bad and the ugly. Welcome. It is my privilege and I've truly considered a privilege to be here today and facilitate today's lecture valuing diverse leadership in the 21st century. Now, valuing diversity, both within the legal profession and in positions of leadership, has been a major focus of my term this year as President of the Law Society of New South Wales. My journey into the law began with my parents' journey, and their journey began when they left Spain back in 1965 and arrived in Australia. In 1965, they emigrated their home. They came here on a Qantas aeroplane. They had three kids, a suitcase, and no English. My parents and my siblings embraced their new life in Australia, and they showed, my parents showed their gratitude to their new home by naming their fourth child, and the only one to be born in Australia after the queen of their new country. Now, my upbringing and my role models have taught me a lot. They've taught me from as long as I can remember. I've never known a time where I've never appreciated the value of inclusivity. That inclusivity means a thriving and prosperous society. And the legal community that I'm a part of is no different. Today, the Law Society of New South Wales proudly represents the interests of more than 34,000 solicitors in New South Wales. Our members reflect that diversity of our modern, multicultural Australia. And we all practice in a wide range of fields and industries. And it's this diverse membership in the legal profession that has helped establish the Law Society of New South Wales, which was founded 175 years ago, but today remains as one of the most resilient and respected legal professions and associations within Australia and in fact, internationally. Now there's one person, well, no, I'm sure there are many in this room, but there's one person in particular that I'd like to highlight who shares this passion for diversity 
and is also no stranger to the law. He is today's keynote speaker, Mr Chin Tan. Chin Tan commenced his term as Race Discrimination Commissioner on the 8th of October 2018. <coughs> but prior to joining the Commission, Chin spent three years as the Director for Multicultural Engagement at the Swinburne University of Technology in Melbourne. Chin's focus at Swinburne University as the head of its cultural diversity strategy was to work collaboratively across the university and the wider community to ensure that Swinburne succeeded as an institution of cultural diversity excellence. His leadership role resulted in Swinburne on the 23rd of November 2017 being conferred a High Commendation Award by the Victorian Government under the Victorian Multicultural Excellence Awards in 2017 business category. Chin was the chairperson and statutory head of the Victorian Multicultural Commission from 2011 to 2015. This commission is an independent statutory authority with responsibilities to support and promote the benefits of Victoria's cultural diversity. Now, previously he enjoyed a successful career of more than 24 years as a practicing lawyer that included partner roles at a number of Melbourne firms. He was the co-chair of the Police and Community Multicultural Advisory Committee and served in many other organisations and bodies. And this includes the Chamber of Commerce, the Australian Football League's Multicultural Focus Group, professional and business associations and local council committees. He was, until recently, a member of La Trobe University's Asia Advisory Board and has either led or been a member of many other community associations and organisations. Chin was also the president of the Chinese Community Council Australia Victoria from 2016 to 2017. So he's well placed to give us the keynote speech today and I ask you to join me to warmly welcome Tin. Jin, thank you. Thank you. 